day it is in Lisbon because I feel like I've been here forever but uh, the other day I went to the aquarium which was super fun and like super spontaneous and it was like a super gloomy and like cloudy day so it was like the perfect time to like do something that was inside all day um, and then this morning I had like this really great photo shoot the guy was like amazing again just like in London oh god I found this guy on Airbnb, so, oh god. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> so cool. Um, but yeah, I found the guy on Airbnb. Like, he was so nice. It was like me and this other girl, and we ended up getting brunch together at this place that was like, mm, amazing. And right now I'm just walking to get something to eat because I'm super hungry. Um, I'm probably not walking in the right direction, <laughs> but uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm so sad, but it was really nice. So beautiful. I think I might like Lisbon. I don't want to go. So pretty. Oh, sorry. This is the side of travel that like no one ever tells you. Like I'm literally spending my Wednesday night. I think I got this feel like spending my Wednesday night in a laundry mat so I can really enjoy my last night in Lisbon, which is tomorrow night, Thursday night. So today was really fun. Like I went to um, the beach with like my little Lisbon boyfriend. Me and him been hanging out a lot since we got here. I met him on that very first night, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, now I'm just kind of like waiting for my laundry to get done. We'll probably fold it back at the hostel. Um, 
But also like pro tip, like some hostels do have laundry mats like inside of them. Mine just didn't, so I'm here. It's pretty expensive compared to American laundry mats. Like it was five euros just to like wash the load and then it's gonna be two euros to dry it. But what's different is that like here, it's five euros, but the detergent, like the soap, is like already included. Like, so you don't have to put any of your own detergent in it. It automatically, like with the water, like adds detergent. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is called like lavendicima. It smells like lavender and I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so I just got to the Belém Tower. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly because my Portuguese is non-existent, but it's pretty cool. I literally know nothing about this, so maybe there's like a little museum inside and I'll learn. <laughs> okay, so I just realized you have to pay to go into the tower and I don't think I really want to pay to go into the tower. I just don't see, I, I honestly don't know what it is, so I'm not that interested. And I think all this cute stuff is on the outside, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'll do some research and see, but um, here we are, hanging out. It's really cute, like if you can see behind me, there's like a whole park and I'm like, wow, like I wish I would have brought a blanket and like a bottle of wine and just like laid out, it would be nice. Things you should do when you go to Portugal.